Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now going to answer question number 10, which is the final question on this Pure Mathematics P2 International A-Level NXL January 2023 paper. This question is on the topic which is a topic which was introduced when this new P2 syllabus started in 2019. And this question is about proof. And here it says a student was asked to prove by exhaustion that if n is an integer, then 2n squared plus n plus 1 is not divisible by 3. Now the student started his proof and he considered first the case when n equals 3k and he replaced the n with 3k and he, and he showed basically that the expression that you get here is not divisible by 3 because when you replace the n with 3k, then you have 2 times 9k squared, which is 18 squared, plus 3k plus 1. And if you take out a common factor from these two terms of 3, okay, um, we don't want to take a high one. Well, three, is, 3 is the highest one anyway. So you end up with 3 times something. So this is divisible by 3. Okay, this number, this part of it is divisible by 3. But then this is plus 1. So this is, you can say, one more than a multiple of three. This is one more than a multiple of three. Okay, so therefore it's not divisible by three. Okay, because you multiply something by three and you add one to it, it won't be divisible by three. So whatever this is, three times it is going to be in the three times table. But then add one to that, it won't be divisible by three because you know, one more than a multiple of three, it can't be a multiple of three. So that's basically what he started. Now, what he has proved it for are all the multiples of three. So for example, when k equals, um, say one, or k equals, um, yeah, when k equals one, you're gonna have n equals three. When k equals two, you're gonna have n equals six. When n equals, so when k equals 3, you're going to have n equals 9. Okay, so here's integers. When k equals 0, you're going to have, you know, n equal, uh, you're going to have n equals 0. Okay, so you can see that what numbers you're going to get when, when k equals uh, 0, okay, you're going to have n equals 0. When k equals minus 1, you're going to have n equals minus 3. When k, k equals minus 2, you're going to have minus 6. When k equals 1, you're going to have 3. When k equals 2, k equals 2, you're going to have 6. When k equals 3, you're going to have 9. So he's proved it. This statement here, or this, this proof here, proves that um, this expression is not divisible by 3 when you have replaced, instead of n, the multiples of 3. Because putting 3k in here will basically give you all the multiples of 3. Okay, so when you substitute inside this expression any multiple of 3, then the result will not be divisible by three. That's what he's proved. So we want to prove it for all real numbers, okay? For all integers, okay? For all integers, any integer, right? So we've got to look at the other cases. Now, you can think of a multiples of three, uh, or you can think of numbers as being either multiples of three. Numbers can either be multiples of three, okay? Or you can say one more than, one more than a multiple of three. Or you can think of it as one less than a multiple of three. Okay, these are the three different types uh, through the all numbers can can be described like that. So we've looked at 3k when n equals 3k. Now we've got to also consider when n equals 3k plus 1 and when n equals 3k minus 1. That will now include all the numbers that exist. Okay, because for example, when n equals 3k, as we said, we're going to have like minus 9, minus 6, minus 3, minus 1, uh, minus, sorry, you can have zero and you can have three and six and nine and so on. When n equals three k plus one, that's going to be one more than the multiples of three. So you're going to include, for example, one and four and seven 
and 10. And over here, you're going to include minus 2, minus 5, minus 8. And when you have 3k minus 1, that's 1 less than the multiples of 3. Okay, so let me make this in, in a bit of a neater way. Let me just, I want to show this in a neater way. So you have n equals 3k. So that includes, for example, minus 9, minus 6, minus 3, 0, 3, 6, 9. And n equals 3k plus 1 would include all the numbers which are 1 more than the multiple of 3. For example, minus 8, minus 5, minus 2, 1, 4, 7, 10. And n equals 3k minus 1 will include all the numbers which are 1 less than the multiple of 3, which are, for example, minus 7 and minus 4 and 1 less than uh, 0 minus 1 and 1 less than 2, which is uh, 3, which is 2, 1 less than 6, which is 5, 1 less than 9, which is 8. So you can see with these three different cases, we have covered all the numbers that exist. We can continue going this way and that way forever, and we will have now had or included every single integer that exists, okay? Because we've got all the numbers. So every number is either a multiple of three, one less than a multiple of three, or one more than a multiple of three. Um, and that's why we're using, and the reason why we're using 3k and 3k minus one and 3k plus one is because we've got to show about the divisibility by three. If I was to, for example, use n equals 2k and 2k plus 1, that would include every number that exists as well, because you have either every number is odd or every number is even. So either, all numbers are either odd or even. Okay, but the trouble is, if I use 2k in this expression, I'm not going to get something which I can manipulate to write in terms of multiples of 3. I won't be able to take 3 hours of factor from it, so I won't be able to prove using that um, anything about divisibility by 3. So the reason why we're using 3k is because the expression that we get when we come out, when we, when we put in here, we'll have things which we can express in terms of multiples of 3, which will be able to show us whether something is or is not a multiple of 3 or divisible by 3. And that's the reason why we have to use 3k here. Right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the expression, which is 2n squared plus n plus 1. So we have 2n squared plus n plus 1. That's that expression, just make sure that's correct. Right? And we're going to take the other two cases. So I'm going to take n equals 3k plus 1. Okay? When n is a number which is 1 more than a multiple of 3. So I'm going to replace instead of n, 3k plus 1. So I have 2 times 3k plus 1 squared plus 3k plus 1 plus 1. This is 2n squared plus n plus 1. So now let's see what that gives us. That's going to give us 2 times, if you expand that bracket, you have 3, 3k squared, which is 9k squared, plus 3k times 1, which is 3k times 2, 6k, plus 1, plus 3k plus 2. Okay, and that gives us um, 18k squared plus 12k plus 2 plus 3k plus 2. So we end up with, in simplified form, 18k squared plus 12k plus 3k, which is 15k. That's 15k plus 4, right? Now, what we can do here is we can say that this can be written as 18k squared plus 15k plus 3 plus 1, okay, plus 3 plus 1, okay, because that 4 can be written like this. And we can take out a common factor of these three terms here, 3. So you have 3 times 6k squared plus 5k plus 1, and then you have plus 1. Now, this is an integer. Okay, this is an integer. If k is an integer, we know that k is an integer. So k is the element of the integers, right? So if, um, yeah, if k is an integer, then this whole thing will be an integer. Integer squared times 6 integer plus 5 times an integer, integer plus 1. So it will be an integer. So here we have this part of it. This part of it is going to be a multiple of 3. Multiple of 3. But then you have plus one. Therefore, the whole thing is not a multiple of three. 
Okay, if you have one more than a multiple of three, it's not going to be a multiple of three. So when a, n equals 3k plus one, then you end up with something which is one more than a multiple of three. That's what it results in. Okay? So when you substitute that, you get one more than a multiple of three, therefore not a multiple of three. Okay, so we proved it for all the numbers which are one more than a multiple of three, that they, when you put them into this expression, you end up with something which is not a multiple of three. So we, we've proved it now for um, minus nine and um, minus eight and minus six and minus five and minus three and minus two and zero um, and one and three and four and six and seven. We've proved it for all those numbers that those, when they put them, when you put them in th this expression, you will not get a multiple of three. Okay, you proved it for all of those numbers now. He proved it for the multiples of three in this box. I proved it for all the numbers which are one more than a multiple of three. Now I'm going to prove it for all the numbers which are one less than a multiple of three. So I'm going to now take n equals 3k minus one. And I'm going to put it into the same expression, which is, it's going to give me two times. So I'll get the same thing as this, except I'll have two times 3k minus one squared plus 3k minus one plus one. So two n squared plus n plus one. So in this case, it's going to be almost the same kind of expression. This is going to be two times, this is going to be 9k squared, to be minus 6k plus one, and you're going to have uh, plus 3k, minus one and plus one will cancel out. So now you end up with 18k squared minus 12k plus two and plus 3k. So now when you uh, simplify that, that gives you 18k squared that's going to be minus 9k plus 2. So uh, here we, we take out 3 as common from these two. We don't want to take out the highest common factor. We're taking out 3 because we're, we're showing about divisibility by 3. So that we've got 3 times, and this is going to be um, 6k squared minus 3k plus 2. So again, this is an integer. This is 3 times an integer plus 2. So this is going to be two more, two more than a multiple of three. Okay, so when you put a number which is one less than a multiple of three into the expression, what comes out will always be two more than a multiple of three. Two more than a multiple of three. Okay, so therefore, therefore not a multiple of three. Okay, not a multiple of three. Okay, so I should really go to the next page. I'm going to do that actually in a minute. Okay, so basically, um, we've now proved it for every single number that exists. Okay, and it's for us now to just, it's always best to write a little conclusion um, about it. But we, we basically went through this exhaust all the possible numbers that exist and exhaust them in such a way that the expression we come out with can be expressed uh, in a way that we can show that it is, 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 is or is not a multiple of three because you can take three out as factors from parts of it. Okay, so that's the reason why we used 3k, 3k minus 1, 3k plus 1, to, to, to choose all the numbers that can possibly exist. And when we put them, what, what comes out of the expression will be something we can express in terms of multiples of three. Okay, so now finally, okay, what we're going to do is just write down a statement to conclude this, okay? Let me just take this over. Okay, so what we can say here is that we have shown, so to, to complete his proof, we have shown that for every possible value of any integer, any integer, okay, that the expression two n squared, what was it again? Plus n plus one, plus n plus one, okay, um, 
is not for any value of an inch n that the expression two n squared is is not divisible by three as it either gives it either gives a one more than a multiple of three or one less than a multiple of three or two more than a multiple of three. Those are the three different options. So it either gives one more than a multiple of three. Okay, that's when the number you put in is one more than a multiple of three. Or it gives one less than a multiple of three. Or it gives, you know, one, two more than a multiple of three, which is the same as this. Two more than a multiple of three is also one less than a multiple of three. You can think of it the same thing. But basically, up to there is basically enough for us to write. We don't have to go into this detail because we've shown that already. So uh, a concluding statement in your best handwriting <clears throat> would always be necessary for you to write. Even though somebody else started the proof for you, you should give a concluding statement okay which shows you know basically just summarizes what you have shown okay so this is really important for you to understand some of these issues here about multiples of three here and why we use 3k 3k plus one 3k minus one okay if you said which is if, if the question mentioned it's not divisible by two then i would use 2k for all the even numbers and 2k plus or minus one either of them for all the odd numbers and that would cover all numbers that exist and then i'll put that into the expression and i would be able to express it in terms of multiples of two okay but in case this case if i want to if i use these two to show all even and odd numbers what comes out of this expression i won't be able to express it as a multiple of three so i won't prove anything it won't prove what we have to try and prove so when it says divisible by two by three we have to use the number three to help us express it in terms of multiple of three. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Okay, this is one of those topics which a lot of students are still afraid of, but it's nothing to be afraid of really. Okay, so other questions from this particular um, uh, paper, all the other questions on this paper will be found in the playlist, which should appear in this region of the page. Okay, other questions from this topic of proofs in p2 can be found in the playlist that will appear over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and the video link that shows here will take you to a video which shows you how to navigate through my channel and find things that might be useful to you thank you for watching and see you soon